Well, if you're with her, then yeah. Well, why do you hate me? Well, you're with her right now, too. Does that make you a bad person? Well, if I keep standing here, maybe. But why don't you tell me why you don't like me? No one likes you. A few moments later, we were told to get off campus by dollar store James Charles. He wanted... I defended the so-called dollar store James Charles, which Caitlin Bennett could have gotten his real name right. His name is Joshi. Okay. He debunked and destroyed Caitlin Bennett on Twitter. Weeks before this stupid video, college students learned Caitlin Bennett isn't that bad, which uploaded on February 15, 2020, went up. Here's his re reaction from behind the scenes. Okay. That's what you should act like. And you should act like a decent human being. Shirt? Uh, Rosalia! Do you know who that These is? Are the men Do you know who that is? This is our, our Do you know who that is? Gonna That's They're because gonna be you're white and you don't know any other language besides English. Educate yourself. Get a degree. Learn another language. Yes! Here's another free clip that he tweeted to end of. The confrontation with Caitlin Bennett, who used the words, you're gay, as an insult. Say it again, now that I have a new camera. Come on, say it again. You're gay. Say it again, now that I have a... Yeah. And you know, he debunked Caitlin Bennett for at least a short amount of time. And the fact that Caitlin Bennett had to go and call him a dollar store James Charles just because He is gay and like Caitlin Bennett thinks that it's that it's still an insult to use. It's pretty much weak and and really pathetic on her part. I wanted to accuse me of bothering him for being gay while he was bothering me as I took a picture with a fan who was gay. I'm, I'm gay, but it, it's okay. You don't know? care. Oh, cool. Yeah. So wait, wait. So you so have you're, to but you're not angry because you're, you're gay. You're just going to get a lot. Yeah. You're harassing her. It doesn't matter. You're harassing her. She's not a college student at the University of Akron. Everybody. Everyone around. No shit. See? He's right. She's not a student here, which means she's trespassing, and she's smiling because she she thinks trespassing is fun. You cannot trespass in college dorm rooms, Caitlin. In fact, you cannot do that from any place at any time that you want. You don't have the right to be here because you are trespassing. That's why cops get called and you get escorted out. This justice system is not going to work for you, Caitlin Bennett. It's only going to work for other people because they have the right and privilege to be here first, not you. stood there next to my black friend and he went to hide behind his white friends who said something really r-a-c-i-s-t to him literally just a few minutes later by the way the word racist is not a swear word 
So you should probably stop bleeping out the word racist. Just let the word racist let it all out. Don't bleep it so much. It's not a swear word. Gendered language, she's clearly a woman, and you just said guy. That's gendered language. Get your gender phobic self out of it. He wanted to get out of here because he already owned you and your friend, Caitlin Bennett. In fact, he was already done talking to you. He walked away like a champion because you guys lost. And he won. Which means you guys are the only idiots that have been losing to a guy who owned you on Twitter. And right when the video went up. He owned you. Out of here, okay? Wait, I have a serious question. How much did she pay you to wear that? Um. Oh, he can't make his own decisions because he's black? Didn't say that. Didn't say Definitely. That. This is so that. amazing. It's Black History That's Month, and the so Democrats actually, have been. Seriously, get rid of that cringe beep once and for all. Racist is not a swear word. You cannot get demonetized from saying the word racist. Last time I checked, racist is not a swear word. So say the word racist without believing it. You jackass. Ah, <sighs> alright. Here we have is a video titled We Will Never Surrender, which shows a lot of Trump supporters saying that Trump shouldn't concede, even though he actually lost the election, fair and square. They still think that Trump won the election, and it's almost January 20th, 2021. Which won't happen for another forty-five to forty days left of the week. Left of of the of the last six weeks that President Trump will be staying in the White House. Absolutely not. There's no reason to concede. Yeah. For what? For why? Because he lost. Duh. I don't know. There's a lot of GOP establishment people out there saying you should just concede Trump. No, Trump didn't lose. So um, if there if, if there are people who are saying that in the Republican Party, they're not true Republicans. They might as well be Democrats. Is how I feel about it. Um, that's just the long and short of it. There's nothing good about Joe Biden. He did not win. And if we give in to Biden now, we will never have Joe Biden did win. Sorry, pal. You can, like, cope all you want. But he won. Fair and swear. there next to my black friend and he went to hide behind his white friends who said something really r-a-c-i-s-t to him literally just a few minutes later by the way the word racist is not a swear word so you should probably stop bleeping out the word racist just let the word racist let it all out don't bleep it so much it's not a swear word Okay, well, I'm using gendered language. She's clearly a woman, and you just said guy. 
That's gendered language. Get your gender phobic self out of here. He wanted to get out of here because he already owned you and your friend, Caitlin Bennett. In fact, he was already done talking to you. He walked away like a champion because you guys lost. And he won. Which means you guys are the only idiots that have been losing to a guy who owned you on Twitter and right when the video went up. He owned you. Out of here, okay? Wait, I have a serious question. How much did she pay you to wear that? Um, oh, he can't make his own decisions because he's black? Didn't say that. Say Definitely. That. This is so that. amazing. It's Black yeah. History Month, and the so Democrats actually, have been. Seriously, get rid of that cringe beep once and for all. Racist is not a swear word. You cannot get demonetized from saying the word racist. Last time I checked, racist is not a swear word. So say the word racist without bleeping it. You jackass. Ah, <sighs> alright. Okay. Here we have is a video titled, We Will Never Surrender, which shows a lot of Trump supporters saying that Trump shouldn't concede, even though he actually lost the election, fair and square. They still think that Trump won the election, and it's almost January 20th, 2021, which won't happen for another forty-five to forty days left of the week. Left dump of the of the last six weeks that President Trump will be staying in the White House. Concede? No, absolutely not. There's no reason to concede. Yeah. For what? For why? Because he lost. Duh. I don't know. There's a lot of GOP establishment people out there saying you should just concede Trump. No, Trump didn't lose. So um, if there if if there are people who are saying that in the Republican Party, they're not true Republicans. They might as well be Democrats. Is how I feel about it. Um, that's just the long and short of it. There's yeah. nothing good about Joe Biden. He did not win. And if we give in to Biden now, we will never have Joe Biden did win. Sorry, pal. You can, like, cope all you want. But he won. Fair and swear. We will never have like I'm hearing people talk about. Oh well, maybe four years from now Trump can do it again. They're not gonna. They're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen. Nope. Once you are already president of the United States, whether it's four years or eight years, you cannot run for president again. Like, like Obama, he didn't run for Ford president again in 2020. George Bush didn't run for president again in 2016. And and Bill Clinton didn't run for president again in 2004 or 2002 to be precise. 
So, bottom line, if you lost the election, which Trump did, he will not run again for the second time. That's not how it works. If you think he's going to run again in the next four years as president to complete his unfinished goals that he never made America great again for, then you're sadly mistaken, pal. I'm sorry. But you cannot just ignore the Constitution of the United States of America. Once that that president lost the election, he has to accept it that he served just one term. You are not meant to be a two-term president if you lose. And Trump lost fair and square. So come January next year, Trump will leave the White House. So deal with it. Yeah. There's not going to be another four years from now. No, no, we need to, we need to stop it now so we can be done with that. So we cannot have any fraud going into next because if this one gets stolen from us and they're successful with that, there'll be no other election that. And I, I don't. I... He's saying stolen because of the mail-in ballots, which are completely safe and not stolen at all. I don't even see a lot of people even voting going forward after that. So, yeah. How's it going? Hey, it's going great. You have a message of support to the president. Oh, yeah, definitely. I want the president to know that we stand with him. We stand with the U.S. Army, the U.S. Armed Forces, the U.S. Constitution, the American flag. We the people, we stand for America. Now and forever and for 244 years, we stood for the presidents of the United States of America. And we're going to stand with you, President Trump. To did you stand with President Barack Obama, Obama back then? No, you probably did not, did you? Because you guys complained about the Democrats. Till the end! Should he concede under any circumstances? No, he'll never concede. We'll never concede because we're the people. We've never conceded for this country. And we're... I hate to break it to you, but he will concede eventually. And come January, he will move out. That is part of the American Constitution. The one president who serves his one term must move out after he lost the election. And he did. He lost the election. speak up we're gonna speak out and we're gonna fight for this country like every other person has done for 244 years and that's a lie and you know that you voted for a, a, a misogynistic racist president back in 2017 2016 and he served his time in for the last four years now. It's time for a real change. And that real change is getting President Donald Trump to become former President Donald Trump out of the White House. So you can blab on all you want, but just know that he is not your president in 2021. because of the brave and we're going to speak up and speak out and we're not going to be quiet we're not going to be silent we're not going to sit in our corner in color we're going to fight for this country and we ain't going anywhere so get ready for it yeah get ready for it oh, i have a question so in denial these trump supporters are hey give a message for president trump at all real quick um hey we said we're still in this um 
No longer you are, no longer you're no longer in this. This video should have gotten a lot of dislikes because it's outdated. It's already past one month since Trump lost the election. Wow, I'm kind of on the spot right now. Should he can see it under any circumstances? Uh, no, not at all. No? Not at all. No, not at all. We love President Trump. Do you guys have a message of support to the president? Cameras over there? Uh, president Trump, we're here to support you. We stand by you. We're ready to make America great. Keep America great. <laughs> so we're... Keep America great. Yeah, about that. That's never gonna happen. Sorry. And that's the way con the Constitution works. He lost. He's never coming to to be president again in January. Sorry. Oh, we're excited. Yeah. Got no, the youngster with us. Well you guys think Trump should concede under any circumstances? Um, I'll take out the expletive. No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a quick message of support for the president? Go, Mr. President. We love you in this United States. Keep up the good work right. and let your wife pray over you today. All right, okay. Should he concede under any circumstances? No circumstances. No. 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 Do you have a quick message of support for the president? Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting, because Joe Biden is not the president. The media does not call it. I don't give up. The media has called it since, since the beginning of time, since the first presidential debate began. The media has called in on the elections. Since Obama, too, was president, and since Trump was president, the media has called on the elections, and you liked it at the time when Trump was president. The media called on the elections. So, therefore, it is technically the media's decision. That's that's how the system always works. That's how it's always been. You're just so blindsided by conspiracy theories and and all the people on Twitter who don't know that. The news media always calls out the election since President Nixon. Give up on Trump. I think Trump has got this. There's so much election fraud that has come out, so I'll do my part and come out here and support him. I didn't even notice. I love it. That looks so good on you. I like that color too. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's Caitlin. Thank That's you so, so much. Exciting. Thank you. Show us your shirt. Yeah, where'd you get that? It's a lot of crap for it. LibertyHangout.org. You can get that shirt at LibertyHangout.org slash store. And you can be as cute as her. She looks adorable in that. You can look as adorable as that. You go to LibertyHangout.org slash store, especially for Christmas. No, thank you. Nobody wants your shitty shirts. Yeah, Caitlin Bennett, I'm very sorry, but you are gonna have to get a call, a call of stalking. Because you have spread lies and misinformation for months on YouTube. And now you're just letting the Trump supporters have their voices, rightfully so, to spread misinformation and lies that Trump will not concede and he will stay at the White House when, in fact, he will not be staying at the White House anymore. And I'm glad you were afraid of getting your you were afraid that Twitter was going to take down your account. Because you know that you spread lies, you'll spread lies and misinformation in there. And you don't want that. You don't want to spread that on Twitter. And by the way, since you never have had the chance to be verified on there, why and and you and you now have a Parler account, why don't you delete your own Twitter account and go to Parler? Seriously, if you hate Twitter so much, go to Parler. 
Parler is a site for conservatives, which definitely isn't safe as they say they are, because they've been hacked, which shows a lot of people's social security numbers publicly. So, therefore, Parler is not even good. I know why anyone stupid enough would be able to join Parler, but there we go. So, enjoy Parler, Caitlin. You're gonna need it. I, and I won't be surprised if your Twitter account gets terminated one day, which it might. That might happen. So, we'll see. But it might get terminated. So, yeah. Anyway, that's your call of stalking right there. And, yeah. If you want to get off the naughty list, maybe next time be a little more truthful. Oh, wait. That won't happen because you're going to be naughty all the time. So... Yeah, you're going to be on this list for a long, long time, Kate Bennett. A long, long time. So enjoy it while it lasts. You're going to need it. 